What is up? What is up? What is up? YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of G-Man Fishing. I'm trying to get the view of this picturesque uh, view here. Uh, we're here at Crane Prairie looking to catch some bass, trout, whatever bites pretty much. Um, it's uh, June something or other, I think the 19th. I'm here with Adrian. Say what's up. Yo. And so uh, we're going to be here trying to catch some fish, uh, make another YouTube video for y'all. Uh, so we'll see you when we get to fishing because we haven't hit our spot yet. I just figured with all that in the background, if it shows up, it'll be a good intro. So until then, G-Man out. Uh, all right, all right. Finally, somebody's got a fish on. That'd be a... Whoa, that's a big trout. Whoa. Watch out for the tree. Watch out for the tree. Oh, where's the unit? Where's the... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, man, what a trout. Well, now that I know that it's recording, we got to my So, Adrian's got a trout on a nice one, too. Yep. Alright. There you go, bro. <laughs> what a beautiful trout. Oh, look at that. It's a clipper. It's going nice. home. Alright. What a beautiful rainbow. Now, this is the first time I'm using the head mount, so I don't know how well the recording is uh, and the view is. It's on, on. So, you guys just bear with us and we're going to try and get some good footage on, on the hat cam. Sweet! <laughs> nice trout. Sweet! Beautiful rainbow, what, about 17 inches long, I'd say? Yeah, 17 inches. Yeah. Well, that's one for the fish, for the fry pot. Yeah. Now I gotta get me one. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, bro. And you were just using a trout float and a... Trout float, small split shot. And then a size four hook with a worm. That was a, a whole worm that was threaded on. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah. I got, okay. Well, hey, I finally got a fish on. It's a trout. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, bud. Come on. That's a big one too. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, I'm skipping. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's one of them crane bowls. Crane bowls, huh? Yeah. I seen that bobber. It, my bobber come off. <laughs> but any hoot, it's a crane bow. It's a native, so we have to let this fella go. So I'm going to uh, put him in the water over on this side and keep him a little well taken care of because he looked like he might have. Taking that hook in pretty good, and I want to make sure that I take care of him as well as prop as possible. Get over here where I can get my hands wet and everything. And finally, I got my first crane prairie fish today. Seen that bobber go under and set the hook, and there we go. Nice little. Rainbow. Um, looks like I said. It looks like he. Uh, well, maybe not too bad. I'm gonna see if I can't get it out. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Those, uh, yeah, those are, are pretty good for getting stuff like that out. So, with the hands, grab the fish. Look at the, oh yeah, he didn't swallow it too bad. He didn't swallow it too bad. So, we'll just see if we can't get these 
uh, forceps in there and get a hold of the hook and get let this guy go. Might be on. No, huh? That's the only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all right. I'm just gonna cut it and let him go, just cause I'm having issues. Okay. Cut it. Pick him up, kiss him, and release him. Mm -hmm. Let him go. There you go. Look, he swim off fine, y'all. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Yo, YouTube. It's Adrian here with G-Man Fishing. We're just wrapping the day up here at Crane Prairie. Had a pretty slow day, but put a uh, landed two fish. One was a native. We had to release it and uh, kept one in the box. So see what uh, what comes next. Might uh, throw a couple more on our way out, but we'll see what happens. All right, y'all have a good one. Nice.